What's up, you guys? It's your girl, Jazz, and this is Jazz the Angel Show. And in this video, I'm going to be doing a little bit of things differently than usual. But in this video, it's going to all be all about five amazing tips to surviving L.A. Now, if anybody who watched my recent videos, I recently went to L.A., Los Angeles, California to visit my best friend. And these are some of the things that I noticed, some of the things that stuck out to me and some of the things that I want to share with you guys to help further, you know, help you further along in your journey, whether it is that you're moving to LA or if you're just simply visiting for a while, these are things to kind of save you money or give you a funny idea on how to actually navigate the world of LA. Because it's amazing, you guys. Okay. Tip number one is shopping or grocery shopping. Say no to bags. Now, anyone who is a native of California, anybody who has visit, visited California, you know when you go shopping in the grocery stores, you go shopping at Family Dollar or something like that, you go in those stores and you pay for your belongings and then they ask you if you want bags. The thing is, is that you want to say no. Miss, your total is $17.41. Would you like a bag? Oh, yes, ma'am. I would like a bag, please. Thank you. Now your new total is $27.41. Would that be all for you? $27.41? How did my total go up to $10 extra? dollars? Like, that is ridiculous. Well, miss, I just want to let you know that in California, they charge for bags. So well, you know what? I just take... I just take my stuff with me and I'll carry it all in my hands because because I'm not paying no 20 no 27 41 for no dang on bag okay because they do charge you and although as my previous clip showed you it's not they're not charging you ten dollars for a bag they're actually charging you ten cents but in the large scheme when you're trying to save money every penny counts so why not save those, you know, that extra dollar or the extra 50 cents by bring your own bag or you can carry the items out the store like I did. Yeah, that's it. Tip number two. So as you guys know, we are millennials and I hope that millennials are watching my videos. And even if it's teenagers watching my video, please like, comment and subscribe. This one is all about happy being happy hour being your best friend, okay? There's nothing wrong. We're going to happy hour. You get drinks half off. You get food half off. Most of the time, you can always find um, appetizers for half off. And trust and believe, you can fill up on appetizers. Hey, girl. How you doing? Hey, girl. What's up? Nothing much? Yeah? Mm-hmm. You want me to come out with you? Now, you already know, like, I be having a hard time in California, okay? I got three jobs, and it's still not good enough. Like, I can't afford to be going out. So, unless you treating. Oh, they got happy hour? Happy hour where? Applebee's? They got lemonade, vodkas for, for a dollar? Oh, shoot. I'm about to get... Okay. Yeah, I'm on my way. I'm on my way. Hold hold on. I'm on my way. I'm on my way right now. Getting my stuff. I'm about to go. All right. See you there. California can be so expensive, so you have to be smart. Whether you're living there full time or whether you're just going there visiting, is no need to break uh, the bank. Okay. So, tip number. <laughs> Three. Tip number three is the whole state of California can be your museum. And I mean like the actual state can be a museum or you can actually go to museums for free. The whole point of this <laughs> next slide is that you can literally be walking down the street or you can walk inside a museum and... It's free. Look where I'm at, you guys. I'm trying to get it in the camera. Look at that. 
so cool. You know, you don't have to spend a dollar to have a good time in L.A., okay? Two things that I want to mention, um, two places that I want to mention. It is a museum in Long Beach, if you ever want to go. It's a Latino-themed museum that's 100% free. I think they're open every day but Monday and Tuesday. And then also there was a Palm Springs museum that I actually got to go to that was free and it was free on thursdays between six and eight o'clock tip number four so this is all i'm gonna say get a car people get a car okay now if you plan on taking a visit to la anytime soon you should include that in your budget to either rent a car or if, you know, maybe you live like a couple cities over or something like that and you want to go to L.A. for the weekend, definitely take your vehicle. It will be extremely beneficial, and especially if you plan on driving to multiple cities and seeing different things. Um, traffic in California is horrendous. when I was there but I can only imagine even with good traffic it was two hour minimum to get anywhere so if you guys can please 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 this would be my tip to anyone who's thinking about going to LA please get a vehicle lastly tip number five is simply just have fun I cannot stress to you guys like how quick my trip actually went and i was there for a full seven days in a week it seemed like a long time when you're at home and you're chilling like when you're not like on vacation but seven days really wasn't that long enough time for me um you know we did a lot of stuff we went to three cities during the time that we were there and one of the simplest moments that i had just living in the moment of having fun and living in the moment was you know a couple nights we would go to the local park and shoot hoops at the basketball um on the basketball court and and those moments was more fun to me because you know during that time we weren't on our phones we weren't you know preoccupied with everything you know that was going on it was just like us and just enjoying each other company and I can't stress like just when you really just get to just like be and exist in this world this is such a beautiful world and since going to LA I'm like you know what I realized like I wasn't doing enough like I'm not living I'm not, I'm living, but I'm not like, I feel like it's so much more out there that I can explore, that I can, you know, get to untap potential, <laughs> that I'm like not, um, you know, living up to my full potential. So if anything, going to LA just opened my mind. But anyways, you guys, I hope you guys like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I put a lot of effort into this video, so I really hope you guys enjoy it. If you guys want me to share more about my experience in LA or if you want to ask me any questions, please leave that in the comment box. And yeah, live life, have fun, and um peace.